Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing um, a vinyasa flow for times of stress, negative emotions, even negative thoughts, fear, anger, rage, uh, any quote-unquote negative emotion you're dealing with, uh, we are just going to do a vinyasa flow. Now I have for, uh, uh, this is also anxiety for anxiety, I have a class for anxiety that is a little more um, uh, high um, energy. This one is going to be a more even flow, breathing and witnessing the self. And please join me on my website for thousands of full length classes. Um, there is any length classes, any level and any subject a topic that you can find there. Um, and lots of programs, lots of monthly and weekly programs. So join me on my website alikamenova.com for more classes like this one and a variety of subjects. There is Pilates and Groove and um, Heat of course and Interval Yoga, Power Yoga, Vinyasa yeah, and a lot of um, physical therapy inspired classes, Pilates, um, uh, bar etc so I'll see you on the website and uh, on here so remember to flow with love strength and ease starting at the front roll the shoulders back and down take a deep breath in feel <laughs> feel your lungs with air with newness let's bring the hands on the upper on the lower back sorry with the fingertips pointing up toes pointing forward and you're going to glide your hands slightly up almost just gliding the skin which cues in your body cues your body to lift elbows pulling towards each other opening the chest lifting through the heart and really um, lifting from um, uh, from the tailbone up Take a break and we'll re uh, we will um, repeat. Let's go. <sighs> Inhale, reach over the head, clasp your fingers. You can extend the index fingers. And let's reach over to one side. Look up, opposite side. And release. And let's move our arms, swinging them. following with the gaze feel um, the fullness the completeness of this move so the whole spine is involved here all the way into the top of the head basically we are um, twisting wringing stuff out of the spine of the uh, upper back Bring about a calming breath. So you're going to envision circularly uh, breathing. So you're inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, and those are linked, chained, chain, uh, chain breath. So you can envision it. For me, it helps to envision uh, that the breath is almost the last exhalation is linked to the next inhalation. You see it as this chain breath. Or link breath as a better word, chain, sometimes it's a burden. Uh, links maybe are better. Either way, chains are beautiful too if we take that perspective, of course. 
as a structure. All right, inhale, lift, elongate, exhale, dive. Shake the head, smile. Stand forward fold. Hands on the shin bones, inhale, look ahead. Spread the fingers wide open, plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. You can look to the right, left, Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge, come up. Really elongate here, uh, lift, feel the stretch through uh, the belly, rib cage, chest, back, exhale down, vinyas. Take the left leg up, step it through. Lift, lengthen, exhale down, vinyas. Let's look under the right, shoulder under the left. And as you look, let go of some tension in the neck, the face, the eyes. And as you look over to the other side, the jaw, the chin, the ears, letting go of tension that is stored, either physical tension or even uh, more emotional, ethereal tension that is stored in this area, astral. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge. Twist to the right, drop the hands down, look over the right shoulder. Open the arms out, the arms are reaching away from each other. Exhale, the left hand down and transition into side plank. Lift and really compose uh, your body, feel your body and really um, arrange your body here in a way just feel that you're arranging the small muscles, creating a composition here. Exhale. Vinyas. Take the other leg up. High lunge. Twist to your left and drop the hands down. Look over the left shoulder. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Open and bring the right hand down 
and side plank hold it engage the small muscles engage the awareness as well awake and spark the awareness and plank upper upward facing dog Chaturanga downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through high lunge. And again, look over to your right, open, drop the right hand down, lift the left arm up, look up. Left hand down, exhale into side plank. And plank, chaturanga, up dog. Down dog. Let's take the left leg up. Step it through. High lunge. And again, twist to the left. Open the arms. Take the left hand down, right arm up. And really reach through the fingertips here. Softening the face the cheeks, the temples. Delicious. And right hand down, side plank. Plank. Chaturanga hold. Come back up and tap your uh, right hand to left shoulder. Chaturanga, opposite. A few more. Tap. 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 One more on each side. Tap. And down dog. Take the right leg up. Step it through high lunge. Hands in prayer. Big breath in. And twist. Exhale. Great. Coming out, you can bring the left hand down and again side plank hug your knee into your rib cage right knee right hand into the right rib cage keep your knee in and take plank hold it great venus Take the left leg up, step it through. High lunge. Big breath in, hands in prayer. Twist and exhale. Right hand down and side plank, bring your knee in and hold here. Good. 
Link the breath and plank with the knee to coat. And vinyasa. And down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, warrior one. And straighten the lead, lead knee. We're gonna go into revolving triangle. Reach through the left hand, lengthen and lower down. Try to direct your back heel down. If it doesn't touch the floor, that's okay. But you're putting, it, but you're stretching the calf. chest over over the right leg for intense side stretch and step it back chest run up dog chaturanga down dog breathe here it's a very quiet <laughs> Place here, but right now it's noisy. Maybe that is to reflect something about the journey of the class. As soon as I started the class, uh, our landlord's dog is barking. It's a one year and a half German Shepherd that's very cute and huge. And then a thunder, <laughs> really loud thunderstorm right now, or thunder kind of rumbling outside and that's when we are releasing, moving through things. Um, when we have stress or anger, uh, I feel that would be the journey, moving through the barking dog and the rumbling thunder with the breath and the motion. I don't know if it's audible, but I take it as great symbolism. Take the left leg up, step it through warrior one. So. The back heel is directing down. I know that not everybody can have their back heel down because that's <sighs> twisting and joint flexibility. Uh, but it's just the direction is important because wherever you're at, you stretch for your own, yeah, where your body is at. Uh, and that's the, that's the value here, the stretch. Know how it looks to others. <laughs> It can look, you know, completely different than other people, but it's the feeling inside that you're stretching and opening areas of the body that were previously less open. This, um, we rented this Airbnb here, and as soon as we arrived, it we were greeted with a lot of, <laughs> by a lot of cats and they they are fed by the residents here and they're gorgeous they seem to be uh, you know street cats that maybe designer cats uh, got in uh, were the parents or something and they eat only really good food that i hear the women offer to them so they refused our kitty food which is great <laughs> all right straighten but I feel this cat energy here. All right, so prepare for a revolving triangle, right hand forward and drop it down or on your shin bone and open here and breathe. Oh man, that's a big thunderstorm.
and lower down. And here we're going to walk the hands to the center of the mat, bring the feet parallel to each other. And forward fold, wide legged, forward bend, shake the head, smile, and come up into plie. I don't see rain, but we're having really rumbly loud thunderstorm now at this stage of our, <laughs> at this stage of our, um, moving through the symbology of the practice because every practice is almost like a hero's journey where you have to embark on the journey uh, first accept the invitation and embark and descend and come up and when there's challenges in the practice those are also how we um, uh, deal with them uh, on a mental level how we breathe through them how we view them all right, plie. And we're gonna do pulsing plie. One, two, three, breathe. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, hold, and plank. Chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, breathe. If there is something, if you're doing this uh, strictly for stress or anger, mm, uh, keep exhaling uh, fractions of the emotion. You don't have to get rid of it completely, but you smooth the edges of whatever negative, quote unquote, negative emotion is bothering you. You just exhale, move through it, breathe through it, through it, and there's always silver lining. There's always the gratitude too, but it can be forced or rushed. We first have to experience what we experience. Emotion is important to be um, acknowledged, to be witnessed. Let's take the right leg up, step it through, warrior one. And from here, we're going to transition into revolving half moon. Left hand down, right arm up. Lift that back heel. Lengthen the torso. And vinyasa. Take the left leg up. Step it through. Warrior one. Feel your hips here. You can deepen the warrior one, soften the rib cage. Experience the pose in your body. So when you exit the mindset of alignment, Warrior one tends to be one of those poses with a lot of alignment points and a lot of tug and pull, pull and tug. So when you exit that and you enter the softness of experiencing the pose within your own body and how the body wants to guide you into the pose. So less resistance in, in a sense. That is just the most uh, tender, tender, tender. I've heard here, it's absolutely powerful. All right, let's take the right hand down. 
revolving half moon, lift that back heel. And here you're gonna stop, uh, step at the front and take your egg squat. Um, tuck your lower lip a little bit inward and kind of inward and lift the chin up. All right, do the same now, but with a smile. So you're gonna flex the cheek muscle, the cheeks, or engage. All right, same, but this time also you're gonna firm the muscles around the eyes. This is when, um, kind of like when you're squinting, but you're not creating wrinkles with the squint. You're, you're just kind of like a, a light squint and everything here is flexing and smoothing. Great, let's wrap the arms around the right leg. Look up and around the left. Look up. And let's go into down dog. <sighs> Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, warrior two. We graduated to warrior two. <sighs> Reverse it and wrap around. Look up, hold, smooth. If you imagine your motion as kind of like a, um, almost like a muddy ball that has sharp edges around it or cement ball or whatever, something that is kind of rough around the edges. As you exhale, feel that you're smoothing out the edges. You're beautifying your, <laughs> your anger or your stress or uh, your fear or whatever, or whatever negative emotion we're dealing with. Frustration, that's a big one, rage. And from here, and a lot of these ones that I just mentioned are about variation of the same underlying emotion. From here, we're gonna transition into half moon, right hand down, left arm up, hold, breathe, and back to warrior two. Side angle. Uh, arm balance and vinyas. Left leg up, warrior two. Exhale and feel smoothness in your breath, in your ball of emotion, smoothing out the edges. It's like polishing a crystal, giving it, beautifying it, giving it preciousness. And reverse it. You can wrap around, right hand around to the left inner thigh, lengthen. And half moon.
and step it back. Side angle. And really lengthen the top. And an arm balance to plank hold it. So here we're going in plank to engage the core and lift into an arch, rainbow, and flat plank, rainbow, flat plank, a few more. Knees down. <sighs> Sit down and uh, symbolically or spiritually hold your heart. So here you're holding. You're holding the aura of the heart or the, the area of the heart. And also you're witnessing yourself, your inner world, your emotions, uh, your heartaches, your struggles. You're there as a friend, as a witness to acknowledge, to recognize to um, in a way hear yourself out or see yourself beautiful a very quick rain came down and now i hear it stop so this whole class feels like this moving through the um, environment and the environment is loud it's not kind of besides the point but just it's making itself hurt. Again, the rain. And the rain is the pouring down of emotion. It can be the release. You release that emotion. Oftentimes there is a buildup and there is a hold, like everything is stagnant and static. And then there is the release, hopefully a healthy release. All right, on to all fours. And we're going to bring the left shoulder down. And the right. And coming out, sit down one more time. It's a massive, angry, <laughs> or powerful rain and storm outside. It's only 2.30, so even though it's dark outside, it's in the middle of the day, the brightest part of the day. But we are at the end. Of, uh, Sofia has a few really big parks. Uh, there are 150. This one is 150 year old and we're right at the end of it. So essentially we're in that park and it's really dark. We sleep in every morning. We sleep a lot just because it's so quiet and so dark. <laughs> it's kind of, it's been kind of, in, maybe in some ways healing and a little bit of rest. Let's sit with the legs in front of us and we're gonna twist. So bring your um, right knee down, left knee up, right arm up. So left knee, right arm, opposite. Main thing is to do the opposite arm to knee and look behind the shoulder. and change oh by the way the um, the full moon in pisces and six planets in retrograde just the full moon was just two hours ago so it's a very emotional full moon and that's the energy of the class uh, and the release with this rain it's uh, very beautiful so come back to this class whenever you feel that you want to move some stuff out into um, into release.
All right, let's breathe. Let's do Kapala, Kapala Bhati for a more powerful breathing practice. You can breathe through the nose only, or you can exhale through the mouth, inhale through the nose and link it, or you can just do it through the nose. And you're gonna do rapid breath, you can pump it through the stomach. So you're, uh, you're engaging the muscles and they're pumping the breath. Just open up the chest and go for as many as you can, anywhere from 50 breaths to 100. At the end, once you're done, if you're not pairing up with me, you're gonna take a big one in slower and then you're gonna exhale it and hold yourself empty for three seconds, four, five, six, etc. seconds, whatever you can, kind of like this. And hold it empty, you can vacuum it. <laughs> Stomach vacuum it. All right, so let's go count your own breath and go for a minimum of 50, it's difficult, but do it. And let's twist, left hand to right knee, look behind if you're ready, if not, continue. Opposite. And again, as you see it and as you're feeling the alignment of your chakras and the upright position of the spine and the moving, the vortexing of energy and also the extension of the root chakra down into the earth. Uh, wherever you're at, you always have connection with the earth. Of course, you're under its uh, frequency and we harmonize with it. and different weather patterns and different um, in different uh, places on our like oceans and forests and mountains uh, they have a different effect on our emotions and smoothing out our edges and um, connecting us grounding us So feel the extension into the earth and the opening, the crowns of a tree receiving energies and witness yourself, feel yourself, be a witness to yourself, um, someone that sees you and hears you and acknowledges your emotions, what you're going through, your inner world, you as a being because you have to witness yourself first in order for the world or for your partner or for anyone outside of you. They're all mirrors of you. So if you don't witness yourself, you cannot expect others to do it. You haven't done it. So you have to do the work. Uh, you have to lay the foundation. You have to have the bravery to sit with yourself and with the darkness of your emotions, with your shadow. I've never, I've yet to meet a person without a shadow and when the shadow is well integrated and acknowledged, it can become uh, your uh, 
potent um, power. It can be your um, talent. Uh, when it is unrecognized, um, unconscious, that's a really massive weakness. Oftentimes it is visible to others or it becomes your dark side. Um, so that's the power of acknowledging um, the, um, the shadow because it is our latent power talent and uh, unless we go in it will not be it, it will not come to the surface it could be a bigger talent than our uh, obvious talent uh, but either ways our our journey even the hero journey is to descend into the darkness so we can meet those parts the unrecognized parts of ourselves and then um, the ascension and that brings us into an a whole integrated human uh, the less we recognize our shadow or the re the more hidden it is uh, it drags us down more and um, uh, and it dominates our persona so um, whenever we try to shove things to be unseen to be um, to just kind of not deal with them they dominate the personality they become the dominant part of this of the self of the I and so we're just putting it aside we're putting we're putting the job aside the work aside because it has to be done it cannot be not done if we leave it undone for a really long time then we become um, uh, the, uh, the, um, the, uh, the polarity, the darkness of the polarity, so we are polarity for others. Sometimes recognize polarity, um, shadow players, evil guys, uh, quote unquote evil, who are recognizing their job. They're doing light work in a, in a sense because they give us the opportunity to choose, the, the power of choice and also um, when we see polarity we can understand uh, what we're dealing with here on earth. Uh, when it's unrecognized, then it swallows us up. So that's that's the journey within. That's the sitting with the self. And it's a powerful journey, maybe with many stages. For sure, with many stages, it gets deeper and deeper because we're also part of the oneness. And the oneness, of course, in this physical reality has polarity, and we can dig deep down into the polarity of 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 the the manifested world. All right, let's lay it down. Uh, pelvic tilts, a few very fluid pelvic tilts, however they feel good for you, straight or circular or slow, wave-like, water-like, ocean-like, whatever you want. Engaging Mula Bandha. Hold the pelvic tilt and we're gonna go into bridge pumps one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and plow and shoulder stand and knees over the ears and release supine twist change soles of the feet together lay and Extend your legs, you can point your toes, bring your elbows down, prop yourself up onto your elbows, shoulders back off the floor onto the crown of the head, but without putting weight on it. 
and you can stick your tongue out and <sighs> exhale. Let's do it one more time. <sighs> one last time. <sighs> All right, roar and roar, roar like the storm, the weather. And lay down in um, in an ocean of everythingness and nothingness, tapping into the oneness of existence. Um, in the past few classes, I have also said you can be in an ocean, and there is some um, land in the far distance and waves washing off the land and these are your emotions or your thoughts whatever you're dealing with if you have a um, repetitive thought that is um, not in alignment with your higher self or just the, the monkey mind it's somewhere out in the distance washing off on the on the shore and you're in in the ocean of oneness you're dropping the ocean and the ocean itself because um, there is, there is this great saying that when there is a drop in the ocean, where does the drop end and the ocean begin? Uh, where is that one drop? And the drop becomes the ocean. Yet it is a drop. And stay here for a few moments, witnessing yourself and also being empty allowing everything to be in the periphery and the oneness and nothingness right here at your heart. And the heart is the vortex of the, of the love consciousness, receiving, be an instrument, prepare yourself and your heart to be the instrument to receive universal love as a, as a quality, as a, a virtue, as a principle, not just the emotion of loving someone or a verb or an action, but also a, um, as, a, as a principle, the principle of love, the frequency of love, love frequency. And stay here and remember to flow with love, strength and peace. Namaste.